Okay, for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take a picture uh, off of the web, take it through Photoshop, and make it have a transparent background, and then you're able to take it into Final Cut, and um, it won't have that like white box around it, or it will look very nice. Okay, so um, first thing you want to do is, uh, you know, go to Google Images and search for what you want. Um, I want this car. It's uh, appropriate for the video I'm using. There's a line where the guy says he's standing on a car. So I take Subaru 2.5 RS, find my thing. Make sure you're searching for a large, uh, large file size so you get high resolution, right? And I found the image I want. What I'm going to do, is just like we usually do, we can drag it, save it to uh, the old desktop there. Open up another folder. And just drag it into my desktop here. Okay, you can also, you know, control click on it and save image as. Okay, so now we've got our uh, our picture file, right? I need to open it up into Photoshop, drag it onto the Photoshop icon, and I'm going to take the quick select tool, which we should all be familiar with right now, and I can use these brackets here, change my brush size here, you know, make the brush bigger, and uh, I'm going to select the background and not select the car which is something I frequently like to do because we've got that high contrast between the car and the background. Okay, and remember, just to try to get as much as you can, there's going to be a little part that looks a little funny on my wheels here since they're right up against the rocks, but that's okay. Um, so I select the whole background, keep going, and remember, uh, if we run into issues with this being too greedy, we need to tell it to, to back off, right? So. If you look at that plus sign in the middle of my brush here, holding it right over the car here, and I hold down Option, it pushes to a minus, right? And then I'm able to subtract from my selection any parts, like this edge of the spoiler. You can go ahead and get these interior parts. Hold down Option and subtract back these pieces. Claim those pieces back. Okay, uh, I want that. And then I want to go to my Z for zoom. Magnifying glass here. Going with my uh, one W, right? And I want to hold down option and subtract back so I get the rest of this rear wing on this car. Okay. Command zero to recenter it. Now I've got a pretty good selection. I think, uh, again, I'm doing this kind of quickly. Uh, when you guys do this for your artwork, make sure you're doing it real good. Um, I selected the background. Now I really want the car, so I do uh, go to select menu, go down to inverse or command shift I. And now, rather than the background, I've got just the car selected. Go to Refine Edge. Okay. And again, this maybe was not the best picture of the car since it had all the gravel there, but we'll we'll make do with this. Um, and I want to adjust this till I get uh, till it looks real nice. Again, you don't want to have feathering off the charts, but maybe a little bit of feathering takes off some of that jagged edge there. Maybe you can take the contrast down, radius up. Okay, this is okay. Again, not happy with the bottom part, but that's, you know, what can we do? Click OK. And now what I want to do is I want to go to Edit, Copy, or Command C, and I want to go to File, New, and this is where uh, the transparency comes in, okay? This new file, it sets this to the proper file size automatically from whatever is copied in the clipboard, right, the computer's memory. But, uh, so you just do Command N or File New, it'll set it to the right size, but set your background contents to transparent. Okay, that is absolutely key. This is where that transparency comes in. Okay, now I'm gonna click OK. Go up here, do Command V or Edit Paste. And my car has that checkered uh, white and gray background. That always indicates in the, uh, a lot of these different programs that that's transparent. Okay, so I've got an image with a transparent background. Now I need to bring it into, photo, uh, into Final Cut with that transparency. And if I just save this as like a JPEG or something, it's actually going to convert the transparency to white. And I'll have this big white box around my car. I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Save As. And I want to set my format to TIFF. T-I-F-F. -F. OK. And this is the Subaru. Name it. Go ahead and click Save. Okay, now this is also very important. This you should only have to turn on once. I already had it turned on and it stays on. But you want to make sure Save Transparency is turned on. And when you click that, 
it's going to say, hey, this transparency is like, uh, you know, a tricky thing. Do you want to save it? And we're going to say don't show again and yes, because we do like that. Okay. Now at this point, I would say in image compression to none because we want this to be high quality for a video. Click OK. That's fine. OK. OK, so now I've got my Subaru TIFF, right? Now if I go into the Finder and I look at my Subaru TIFF, should have paid attention to where I was saving it. Where did I save it to? I saved it to desktop stuff. Okay. So if I go from here to my desktop to my desktop stuff, Subaru TIFF. Okay. Now I can quit out of Photoshop. I can go to my file in the Finder and I can drag it into the timeline right into Final Cut. Okay. I've already got Final Cut open. Here's my kinetic text project. Again, you probably you may want to get your text in kind of before you uh, get too much into uh, images, or you might want to do them both at the same time. That's fine. And at this point, I've got my transparent object in there. The way I'm going to demonstrate that uh, this is totally transparent is I'm going to take another title in here, and I'm just going to show you what it looks like on top of that. So let's take our title. Uh, this is text in the back going slow. Background that you can see. Okay, I'm going to set the size up on that pretty big. I'm going to hit return here. Okay. So you get the idea anyways. Um, this is here. Now I can take this image of the car and put that on top of that and you're going to be able to see around the car. Okay, I can go to my transform controls here move this around and you can see that rather than a big white box there it's actually transparent around the edges okay uh, even through the wing there um, now if you want to animate this it's the same situation to animate with um, with uh, the text I showed you that early on the text I can move my car with my transform on here to where I want it to be set my time uh, playhead in the timeline go over to transform position hit a keyframe, maybe I want it to rotate too, I'll hit a rotation keyframe, okay? So it marked it as rotated level and over in the corner. Then I move my playhead, add my keyframes for those criteria I want to affect, move the car, okay, and now I've, I've changed the position, and let's also just change the rotation. I can change the rotation right here, or you can also click on this little blue wand thing here, I'll have it rotate like that, okay? And now, I don't have to count to know I'm worth a billion. You know what bigger number I am worth a billion. Okay, and you got the car that's flying through space there uh, with the silly song. Everything seems to be working out pretty good. Okay, so you'll be able to take images, animate them within your kinetic text piece with a transparent background, and uh, you should be pretty good to go on that. Okay, thanks for watching.